Good evening. Today is Tuesday, first day of November 2011. Quick market recap. Michael normally does the video recap. All of our fancy camera equipment is over in his office and he's out today and out tomorrow. So I am shooting this on my Super 8, my Kodak Super 8 millimeter camera. So if it's not the high quality you've grown accustomed to, please accept my most sincere apology. I'm going to do my very best to make it brief, get us through it, and then Michael will be back Thursday. All right, let's have a look at what happened today. Ta-da! See, I told you it wouldn't take very long. The markets were up here yesterday, and then they went down here. Okay, you want a better explanation? Uh, going into the close yesterday, I said, uh, I like the idea. I set it up here. I like the idea of being short below 1264. And after we ended the show yesterday, the markets handed us below 1264. And then they handed it to us, and handed it to us, and handed it to us. So from 64 down to, we'll call that 1210, about a 54 point decline. Now, there, this is against a backdrop of a lot of things. Uh, we've got the MF Global Meltdown. We've got uh, the guy in Greece, whatever he's called, uh, the head guy. We'll call him the head guy. Prime Minister, something. He says, uh, you know, you're going to let us off for half. Uh, we'll let the people vote. Now, the reason he wants to let the people vote is because with this package comes a lot of austerity, and mostly the people don't want austerity. So, they're going to vote now. So, this is what happens. All right. We did have a rally this morning off the open. Looked like the markets were going to try to work their way back up. We have a level right here that we're watching. Any rally any rally these markets can put together. We're going to watch this on the first trip up for potential resistance. But I'm here tonight to simply recap what we did in the live trading room today, which was not a lot, quite frankly. We took two trades. Let me just go ahead and give you the tally. Because some of you don't want to know about the action, you just want to know about the tally. Okay, It's all about the size. Alright, we lost eight ticks on the ES, we gained 31 points on the YM. Okay. We had one trade here, one trade here. We had multiple setups across multiple markets. Those are the only trades I took live in real time. Michael tends to take more trades. Michael is usually at the helm in the mornings in the live trading room. I used to be, and then we used to split it. And then I kind of just faded into the background, uh, doing other stuff as I've grown older. Uh, it was kind of fun, actually, to be back in the seat again this morning. And I'll do it again tomorrow, but then uh, Thursday I'll be glad he's back. So, anyway, it gave me a chance to blow off the cobwebs. Let's go look at where I took that ES trade that didn't pan out. Okay, scroll back to the open here. I was trading the naked 2100 tick chart. Here's the opening bell. See, the market's trying to rally off the opening bell. And then we had the ISM report that came out at 9. The report was bad, worse than expected. Market traded higher. And it was right here. Right here was my ill-fated short trade. Okay. Here's what we had. Here's why I took the trade. Okay. The cycle indicator had made its trip all the way to the top. It had turned red. And just as I entered the trade, instead of hooking down, it went flat. So one might say, well, gee, couldn't you have waited for it to hook down? Well, you could. But if you do, then you missed the pullback right here. 
and that's what I was shooting for was the pullback here okay this trade is a very simple set it and forget it kind of trade it's a two-point bracket two-point target two-point stop it never fooled us even once we got triggered in and we hit our stop we were in here and stopped out right here and that's the way it goes now the same trade setup over here on the long side paid off see we got choppy the short did not work out the long trade uh, yeah that's not even a valid long trade the long trade over here you don't have the cycles not blue it's not with you and so the 2100 tick chart for those who've been around or been in the uh, partners workshops you've heard me say that this setup on some days is in fact the holy grail of trading and on other days it's the trade from hell this morning early going it was kind of the other not the holy grail this one here uh, was real nice if someone had taken it we didn't we were watching the Fortech range and that's really a pretty good trade setup brought to you by one of our brought to us by one of our partners George and let me just let me scroll back here to the live trading room session all right right out of the gate this is what we call a George trade or the George the George we got a break of the elbow move three quarters of a point outside of the box this right here is the box we pull back here to the MA1 and we run from 12 foot 15 up to 12 19 it's a four point move this is a trade that we also use a two point bracket on so had we taken this trade out of the gate uh, there would have been two points and potentially we could have been done for the day uh, the next setup the elbow flips over we trade three quarters of a point outside of the box we pull back to the BBC and we promptly drop from 12 18 50 to 12 16 and a quarter there's another two points so by the time the news was out this morning you could have had two points on the way you could have had four on the way up you could have had eight but if you were bracketing the trade based upon the rules that we have for the trade you could have caught two up two down you got four points uh, that's a pretty good living or you might have stuck around for it to flip the other way where it pops out pulls back to the BBC and away you go for another two okay so that's three now we didn't take it I didn't take any of those setups let me point that out as I'm pointing out the setups uh, some of the guys in the room were taking them and taking them successfully here's another example it pops out it pulls back and away it goes now there's some nuances to these trades and because I don't trade this setup every day uh, I may have missed some of the nuances in the recap take the free trial cfrn.net forward slash apply or if you want to win an iPad cfrn.net forward slash iPad and come into the live trading room for a week's free trial and uh, Michael will explain some of the nuances that go along with the trade he does microsurgery for me it's more like you know batting a pinata a birthday pinata so anyway I traded this one uh, it came down it did the deal got outside of the box three quarters of a point pulled back to the BBC I went short right here had a little bit of a drawdown okay not a big one and then as price moved back outside of the box this is what I did you ready okay I took my stop and I moved it down to break even plus one tick what does that mean that means I had a free trade now before I moved my stop down to break even plus a tick I grabbed my 
target and I dragged it right here okay right above this swing high can you see why I did that right above this swing high what did price do did price immediately come down and gratify me no it went back it hit my stop which was not a problem because my stop was at break even plus one tick so I covered my commissions didn't cost me anything free trade had I not monkeyed with my stop which by the way is one of the nuances that goes along with this setup guess what price ran right to the target I was shooting for 1220 I got in at 1224.75 it looks like so that would have been a four and three quarter point had I not moved my stop to break even plus a tick but I did so let's not get into the woulda coulda shoulda business because that will put you in the poorhouse some of the guys took this trade okay the secondary pullback and that paid off two points as well and this just repeats itself over and over so if you like the way that looks if you think you could learn how to trade a pullback like that and take two points out of the market come pay us a visit cfrn.net forward slash apply I took one other trade in the live trading room and I'm gonna show you this trade and I'm gonna throw some caveats at you and then I'm gonna be out of your hair all right this is not one of our textbook setups it is a setup that I'm gonna teach in the partners workshop beginning this Thursday or in the near future okay you see this angle right here I'm always suspicious of those and I envision them failing see how the market normally goes up moves up pulls back moves up pulls back moves up pulls back see that okay this sticks out to me like a sore thumb now oh and this is WTZ 11675 pay that no attention in fact uh, let me do that differently because somebody will get confused that was simply my entry 11675 all right so here's what I did price climb I didn't like that I was suspicious or thumb business this was the descending price channel price breaks up out of the channel what's all the world thinking man this market's ready to head higher it's going to at least go up and challenge this high here because of this this angle right here I said you know everybody's seeing that on whatever time frame they're operating on I'm using a 500 contract chart for this I said okay the world's expecting this thing to go higher but I'm suspicious because of the angle so I'm gonna be crazy like a fox I'm gonna trade it the other way what if everybody's wrong if everybody's getting long right here as this thing breaks out of the top of the channel if it fails an awful lot of stops are gonna get triggered and if I have an order here to sell on a stop they're just gonna hand it to me because as those stops get triggered it's gonna be like a waterfall order flow so I caught the order flow now we were at the end of the live trading room we're two hours from 8:30 to 10:30 Chicago time so right here I went ahead and took my profit 31 points had I stayed in the trade trailed my stop whatever I might would have done the thing went for a hundred points this was a hundred point move that's equal to 10 points on the ES so it was a good trade I'm very happy with the 31 points and this is just another way of you know trading the market uh, again this is not a textbook setup as we call it but it is uh, something that I watch something that I do and something that I will be sharing with the CFRN partners in future workshops so once again come pay us a visit cfrn.net forward slash iPad and you could not only take a free trial 
you could take home a brand you could possibly somebody is going to take home a brand new in the box iPad cfrn.net forward slash iPad.